the United States. There's a look at the sled. On top of that sled, two veteran athletes. Chris Masker, an Olympic silver medalist in singles. Jason Turdeman, a two-time Olympian with two different partners at each of those games. They're in 12th place after run number one. Their season best, a 10th. And Jason told me just before the race that he's confident with the sled setup in today's conditions. Yeah, these guys are great sliders, certainly. Uh, no doubt about that. A lot of uh, history. They actually slid together as juniors uh, 11 years ago and then went separate ways. But, uh, and then reunited after the games in 2018. Oh, little right wall, left wall action out of curve nine. Chris had multiple surgeries. Ooh. Major skid out of 10, and they're the first team to turn it over today. This is the first crash. And let's hope they make it to the finish. It's a steep outrun here. They may just get there. They do, they get they a do. finish time, but they have knocked themselves out of contention for tomorrow's sprint. And this is very steep, Gordy, so they have to just ride it out, right? Yeah, there's not much that they can do here. You'll notice that uh, actually Chris is strapped into the sled, so they can't get off until Jason can unstrap Chris. Their really problems started really, here, yeah. Yeah, they, their problems began with too much height at the exit of curve nine, which forced them into the left wall, then into the right wall, and then they went late and into, um, into curve, or actually it looked like they were early into curve 10. But at that point, I think Chris was probably just uncomfortable. And then they hit a little too early on and then skidded. And you could see Chris knew that they were going over at the exit of curve 11. He was bracing himself for that impact. Up to that point, up to curve nine, they were uh, sitting on a first place time. So that's unfortunate. Uh, we hope they're okay. Chris has got a race scheduled for later today in men's singles. They, they seem just fine. Yeah, nine times out of 10 in a luge crash, they may look dramatic.